All right, hey, Will Roberts here, and uh, your next installment of uh, how to self-tape or how to do your vlog, V-L-O-G, or uh, shoot videos of your cat from the next-door neighbor's house. I don't know. So uh, all that stuff you're going to find out here. Go to actingupradio.com, and you can see there's a tab on the top that says how to self-tape that will have all the episodes and information additional information and equipment that you can get brought to you by my friends at Cole Limited and they will uh, you know give you some great packages that I help them put together I've been doing this for a hundred years I don't look like it I hope and uh, anyway so we're going to talk about different stuff and how to self tape but first things first the equipment tripod day I have got a lot of tripods things that I have accumulated over the years from thrift shops that are garbage, um, small tripods that I thought, this is the idea, it's small, I can put it anywhere, until I realized that unless I was shooting my crotch, um, it doesn't really work real well unless you have a stack of boxes in your apartment or your home that you can set it up on. In addition, small tripods like this, you know, they shift around on the top because you have a little button to press, but they don't go sideways. So you can't do the this way, you know, selfie or uh, Instagram videos, which have to be up and down and not landscape because of, anyway, that doesn't really work real well. Um, I have a gimbal, which is really cool. You can put this on your tripod and it's motorized and it's really cool. That's a cool product. Selfie stick you can add on to a tripod, like the small one, which makes it even more like a circus act because it'll wait and fall over and bust like we did last episode. And then you've got the cheap, I don't know what the hell this is, like a, a stand I got for a lighting thing thinking, oh, if I just put a deal on it, then it'll work. These are the worst. All these little knobs, they loosen and fall apart. And then you got the cheap tripod that you can get for, I don't know, at a target or something which like are really gross and you can actually hear this on the camera going around in circles it's kind of ganky it goes g -g 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 -g. if you wanted to do a shot where you were going to pan across now obviously selfie uh you know self-taping you wouldn't probably have this type of situation but i'm doing stuff for anybody that wants to shoot stuff and they don't hold down there's no level points on it. This is no, there's no level on this. So I don't know if my shot's the right way when I do it. So th that on top of the fact that, you know, this thing doesn't stay well. I mean, you put it down and look, there it is. Look, there goes the leg. Okay. They just don't work well. So having the right tripod is essential. And let me show you what that looks like. So this one right here, here's the brand on the bottom and you can go to the website, Acting Up Radio, check it out. This is a great tripod. Couple reasons. Number one is it's light. With all my stuff on it, the head, the, I have a, um, a fluid head on it, and I'll explain that in a minute. It's very light, you can utilize it and knock it out and get it ready to go in no time. Um, it's just, it, it doesn't weigh a thousand pounds, which by the way, I'll tell you right now, I'm filming on another, um, you know, tripod that I used to use. Uh, I'll let you take a look at that right now. And this is my original tripod that I used. And it's not bad, but it weighs about 4,000 pounds. And it's not real realistic to carry this around and shoot. Plus, when you extend that tripod, what happens is, is that that tripod winds up taking like the space uh, of the whole room you're in. Um, it, it's kind of, when it's all said and done, it kind of looks like a tarantula from a, a sci-fi movie from the 50s. It's huge. And it weighs way too much. So I have this one, and it has this one has a fluid head on it and a couple of knobs I want you to realize and features that you should be looking for in a tripod. Number one thing is, is that it's got this adjuster that allows me to take it around. It's got a big ball in the middle. Very sturdy. I can bring it to this position, which I was talking about. This is our clamp from last week. And, um, and put your phone in here, and it allows you to shoot, I'm calling it Instagram videos, because you can't do the landscape that, and work well. Uh, it also has uh, uh, ability to 
loosen up the bottom, which is your rolling across like this, uh, or doing a, you know, a shot where you want to pan and you want it to look good. Like, hey, let's say you want to do something clever, like here's the camera that's facing this way, and you come around and show this, and you get to here and you go, hey, everybody, it's me, Will. You know. So this has a really, you loosen it down, has a really fluid move. There's, it's not made, made like crap, and it spins around, and it locks, and it has little you know, points that you can see with numbers that say, oh, if I went from four to seven, I can mark it off, whatever. In addition, it has a, uh, a level mark right here, which is a little green thing, and one on the head, because they're two separate items. But it allows me to see that I'm dead center on this ball here, so that means that the center, this part, is level. So my shot's going to be nice, and it's not going to be here. On the, the head, it's the same way. It has this uh, thing here that I can see, like, well, I need to move it a little bit. And now I'm totally set in, locked in, and it's good locked in. They're not garbage. Here, let's set this in and lock it down, and it won't move, okay? It's sturdy. With my holder, and I added a clip and so on for my microphone and my, my light, which you'll talk about in one of the other episodes, I am set to go, and this is really in great, you know, a great piece of equipment. In addition, one of the features on a larger tripod like the one I just showed you, my old one, is it's got these little ball, these little knobs that allow you to extend the legs and make it go flat almost. And when you do that, it then allows you to go lower to the ground if you want and do be creative. Um, whereas the big one I have on there, it's like, again, it's huge. So the legs go out so far. It's not realistic to have it in your home or your apartment or the space you're shooting in. I'm trying to take up as little space as I can because my wife uh, also has other things that we do in this uh, little garage. But fact is, is that this goes, has a, a nice smooth up and down. It has good legs. It's not too heavy. When I'm done, I just simply lock it up and put it away. And again, it's sturdy. It's made by a great company. Um, I highly recommend that you get a good tripod and don't go the uh, thrift shop circuit or, you know, the Kmart or Walmart or whoever's still in business. Uh, you can lock this up and you are ready to go. And it's really light. Highly recommend it. Anything that you're doing in regards to your career, uh, in regards to an actor or vlogging, or maybe you're an influencer, get the right equipment, okay? Because you want to walk into somewhere and go boom and put it up and not be sitting there with your friend the roll of tape and trying to make sure that the legs are staying in. Because I got a couple of tripods here that this is what this specifically is for, is making sure that that uh, stuff doesn't fall down or the lights don't tip over. Or your camera, like last episode, um, let's be clear, that uh, you want to make sure your stuff doesn't wind up breaking. And that all has to do with the fact that you make sure that you're using the right equipment. Check it out, actingupradio.com. And if you have any questions or thoughts or suggestions on episodes, let me know. I'm Will Roberts. Um, this is about your career. And um, make sure that you're taking care of all your equipment and getting some good stuff out there. Get that job. See you next time.